Hey guys, it's Carter, and in today's video, we are diving in and looking at the one and only Rumble stock, ticker symbol RUM. We're going to be looking at what on earth is going on with this company and why I think this thing could possibly squeeze up to $100 per share. We're going to be diving in and looking at all of it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you guys get anything in value, hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to learn more about trading, investing, money management, I do have a course. So make sure you guys check that out. So let's jump in and start from the beginning. So looking at this, looking at the stock, you'll notice it was trading for about $9 to $10 a share for a while. And then it had a merger, which caused it to go from $9 all the way to $17 a share share. But then we immediately had major, major sell-off because look at this thing. The company is doing terrible on the fundamental side, right? They have a negative 106 profit margin. They have a net income down, you know, 1,384%, which is absolutely terrible. The only thing that is good is the revenue. The revenue is up 107%. Now, for those of you that don't even know what Rumble is, Rumble is a, you know, it's a video communications company that is very, very similar similar to YouTube, a video social media platform, I should have said. It's very, very similar to YouTube. The only difference is Rumble has a more free speech, right? You, you're not going to get demonetized and stuff along those lines. And we've seen a whole bunch of influencers like Steve Will Do It, um, you know, Andrew Tate, we've seen Alex Jones, all take their content and move it to Rumble, which caused a whole bunch of other people to want to view their content to sign up. And we've slowly seen this steady growth. And right now there's kind of just this, this free speech out there, right? We have DWAC, which is also known as Truth uh, by Donald Trump. We have Twitter getting bought by Elon Musk, which he's going to take that company private. He believes in more of a free speech. And then we have Rumble. All these stocks have been getting talked about, talked about, talked about. And so right now what we've seen is just this crazy sell-off back down to $6.35, for Rumble, and then we've slowly seen this massive amount of buying pressure. I think we've seen so much buying pressure because of Twitter. Right now, there's so much money getting pumped into these free speech stocks, uh, which is you know causing the stock prices to go up. On top of that, guys, we have this article here by Investors Place, and it's very, very interesting. This is why I think we could possibly see Rumble stock hitting as high as $100 a share. It's because Elon Musk, could take Rumble stock to the next level. There could be a possible merger with uh, Rumble and Twitter for uh, you know free speech vid videos and all that good stuff. I don't know much about that, but the beauty of this is Elon. Every single thing he touches pretty much turns to gold. And you'll notice if. Twitter merges with Rumble, I guarantee we will have a massive, massive buying pressure. And you'll notice right here today, um, another stock heat up, you know, as as a, a possible deal for mo momentum here is Rumble. Um, so I, I think there's so, so much opportunity right now. On top of that, the only issue that I see with Rumble is all the fundamentals. All the fundamentals are absolutely garbage, right? Their revenue is up, right? But for a company moving like this, we expect it to see see a little better. We have a terrible profit margin. You know, the, that profit margin is so bad that every time Rumble makes $100, they actually lose another $100, $106, which is awful. You want to see that thing getting increased, right? That's very, very um, important for a healthy and strong company, that net profit margin. The company does have a little bit of some cash, which is good and very little to no long-term debt. But I, I think the issue that we face right now is that the fundamentals, right? And there, there's quite a bit of competition right now in that video space. I think the thing that separates Rumble though is the free speech. But if, you know, DWAC has a video platform, if uh, Twitter doesn't merge with Rumble but creates their own. That one will be more successful than Rumble because of Elon. Everything he touches turns to gold. But if they do do that merger, this thing will squeeze. I could easily see this thing hitting as high as $100, $120 a share within the next year if this merger does happen. You know, I, I think right now it's all speculation because Elon's goal is to take Twitter private. 
and then what he's going to do is re reoffer an IPO, and the stock's going to squeeze up, and then we could possibly see some deals happen. Um, but overall, guys, answering that question of should you buy Rumble, for me, Rumble just is a high risk, high reward play. I, I own some, but I'm not going to go super heavy in on it. I keep it under one to two percent of my portfolio size, meaning for every hundred dollars I have invested into other stocks, assets, bonds, ETFs, I'll put a dollar, two dollars in Rumble. Um, the reason why it's so low is because this is high growth, high growth. You'll notice it's gone from ten dollars to seventeen, and then just as fast as it went from ten to seventeen, went from seventeen down to six, then back up to thirteen. So high volatility, high speculation, but overall, I think it's still worth having some. And if this thing tanks down to zero, I'm only out one to two percent of my portfolio. And if this thing starts squeezing up, I have shares to make money, and I always can buy more. So guys, that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and we'll see you guys later. Take care.